Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's recipe video, I am going to be sharing four meals with you that are perfect for weekday meals. These are all really delicious, obviously tried and tested by our family and they've gone down so well. So I hope you guys enjoy them as much as we do. With all that said, I'm just gonna jump straight on into recipe number one. So the first meal is going to be a delicious creamy chorizo gnocchi and this is probably a meal that I make probably once a week because it's just so very quick and easy to make and also versatile, you can mix and match different ingredients to suit whatever you fancy. So like I said, I've got some chorizo here. I've got one vegetable stock. Oh no, this is a chicken stock, so I ran out of vegetable stock. I've got some Parmesan cheese, three cloves of garlic. I've diced up half a white onion here. In here, I've actually mixed up um, 150 grams of soft cheese and also some grated Parmesan. And then I've got um, one kilo of gnocchi here too. So gnocchi is great because you can just pop it into some boiling water and it literally takes about four to six minutes to cook. Once the gnocchi starts bobbing up to the surface then you know it is cooked and you can just drain it off. While my gnocchi is cooking, I am going to be frying up my chorizo. I want to fry that first with nothing else in my pan. It's gonna release all its oils and you want to retain those because that has got so much flavor in them. Once your chorizo has fried off, you then want to throw in your onion and just saute that off for a few minutes before you crush in your garlic. Once that's sauteed, you then want to go in with your cream cheese and you want your chicken stock in there. Plus you want to take a little bit of the starchy gnocchi water and add that to your pan too. Once that's simmering and your gnocchi has cooked through, you're ready to drain your gnocchi off and pop it straight into your chorizo mix. Give everything a mix together and then it's ready to dish up. And how we love to serve this is with a little bit of salt and pepper on the top and then an extra grating of Parmesan to finish. Right, so for tonight's dinner, we are having this HelloFresh meal. So this is a Thai green style chicken curry. And if you have a look, it's one of their super quick meals. They do quick meals anyway, but they've just now brought out these super quick meals, which are 15 minute meals, which is amazing. You guys know how much I love HelloFresh because not only do they taste delicious, but also I find them so time saving, brain power saving, but also they really do save me so much money in my weekly shop as well. For those of you who haven't heard of HelloFresh before, it's a meal subscription service that gets delivered to your front door. And every meal that you choose comes perfectly portioned in these little brown paper bags. And inside you will find all the ingredients that you need for each meal. And then what you will also find on the recipe cards is a number on the card, which then corresponds to the bag with all the right ingredients in it. Like I said, when I have a HelloFresh box delivered, I do save so much money on my weekly shop. And I also have a discount code for you guys to use. If you use KerryW2023 at checkout, you'll get 6% off your first box with HelloFresh and then 25% off your next eight boxes with HelloFresh plus some free gifts. To use my discount code, you do need to be a new customer to HelloFresh or you need to have not used your subscription for 12 months or more. They have over 44 different recipes on their website to choose from every week. If you have a look on screen now, you'll see this little QR code. And if you pop your camera up to the QR code, this will take you over to the HelloFresh website to make ordering from it really, really simple. So like I said, I am making this Thai green style chicken curry and then these are all the ingredients that I need for it. And then also here you have a little pantry section which is what they are asking you to supply yourself. So this one is just water. So I need 100 mils of water to feed four people. So I've added it to the chicken stock that I've got here. I've got some diced chicken, Thai green curry paste, loads of spinach, absolutely love this in a curry. I've got coconut milk, lime, rice, which is ready to go on. And then I have also got some chili flakes. So what I'm going to do first of all is get my rice cooking. So you guys know how I um, make my rice. I just fill it up with some water until this finger is resting on top of the rice and then the water comes up to the crease here. I then pop it onto the hob, I bring it up to the boil. Once it's boiling, I turn it down to simmer for 10 minutes and then I just turn the hob off and it's ready to serve when the rest of my meal is cooked. So while my rice is cooking, I will then just get 
a big pan and I'm going to put it on a medium heat with a little bit of oil in there and then I'm going to add in my Thai green curry paste for 30 seconds. Next I'll add in my coconut milk and my chicken stock and just let it simmer for a few minutes. Once that's been cooking for a while I'll then add in my diced chicken and I'm just going to bring it down to a simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. While that's cooking I will add my spinach into my curry. Then I will squeeze half of the lime into my curry. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and then you are ready to dish up. So I'm just going to add a generous amount of rice for each person. Top with the curry. Sprinkle as many chilli flakes on as you would like. And then serve it with a wedge of lime on the side. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, I'm actually going to be cooking one dinner, but then I'm going to just be preparing another dinner to pop into the fridge so we can cook either tomorrow night or the night after. You can even make one of these and actually pop it in your freezer and keep it for whenever you might need it another time in a few weeks' time or, you know, next week whenever you fancy it. So I have got um, two 500 grams of mince here. So this is beef mince. I did actually order a kilo one, but this is what they replaced it with. And then I have got my tomato sauce that I batch cook here. I'll link the recipe down below in my description box. Um, and then I have got some croquettes, some lasagna, and then all the bits that I need to make my white sauce with. So I've got some um, milk, butter, flour, and then also this is a secret ingredient that I love to use in my white sauce, some Coleman's mustard powder. So what I'm gonna create here is two meals, like I said, a lasagna and also a cheat shepherd's pie. Oh, I forgot to show you actually the, I forgot to put out here the cheese that I'm going to be topping each of these dishes with. So basically what I'm gonna start off by doing is I'm gonna get my beef mince and I'm going to just brown that off in a big wok because I've got quite a lot of it. I need a big pan to hold it all. Once it's browned off, I'll be adding all of my tomato sauce into there. And because this tomato sauce has all the ingredients in there that I would normally add to this dish, so it's got onions, garlic, peppers, carrots, tomatoes, so many different things in here to give it so much flavor. I don't need to now add anything else. So I'm just going to let my beef mix cook through for about five minutes or so, so it can reduce and thicken slightly. While that's cooking, I am going to making up my white sauce. So I'll put 50 grams of butter into a pan and melt that down. And then I'll add in 50 grams of flour and one teaspoon of my Coleman's mustard powder. I'll let that come together before slowly adding in 500 mils of milk. You just wanna keep on whisking that until it's nice and thick, but lump free. And then you can just set that to one side. Once everything is cooked, it's then time to construct everything. So I will be making my lasagna just by layering up the mince, then the pasta sheets, then the white sauce, then mince, pasta sheets, white sauce, and finish it off with some grated cheese on the top. And then for my shepherd's pie, I will just get an oven proof dish. I will fill it with the remaining beef mixture and then I'm going to lay my potato croquettes on top of them and cover them with cheese. Both of these will go into the oven and cook for about 40 minutes on 190 degrees centigrade. And when they come out, they're looking absolutely delicious. The potato croquettes have really puffed out and they act as such a brilliant time-saving mash substitute. So those are the four recipes that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed them. Don't forget to head on down to my description box to use my HelloFresh discount code. They have so many different meals to choose from, like I said to you before. So it's definitely worth giving them a try if you haven't tried them already or activating your account again to take advantage of this offer because it makes such a huge difference with your shopping bill every single week. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.